And last year, I had a great year. I had so much fun last year and then I had a good start in Thailand. And this week, it's very challenging. We got all the players around the world, all the best players playing here this week. And of course, it's really challenging. So I, I can't wait to go out and challenge all the, all the players on the golf course and to see what can I do on this golf course. I have feel every year I become closer, coming closer to winning this tournament. So, I mean, this week, I know I have more confidence and I know what to do and just be be patient and focus on this golf course and I think I have a good chance. Um, I don't think going to college has really affected my school, I mean my, uh, my golf, I mean. Uh, just because I've never actually had an experience of playing golf without going to school, even when I was, you know, I went to high school, I went to middle school, and there's just a, it's always been part of my life. So I'm really excited I'm on track to graduate this March. Um, so it's going to be interesting. It's the first time in my golfing career that I won't have school um, or school work to do. So I'm very excited. I'm um, excited to play this week. Um, I think last week was a very hot and cold experience, as you said. Um, very frustrating, but like, you know, like the first term of the year, it's got to get the rest off, and I'm really excited for this week. Michelle, what are you going to do with all that time on your hands after March? Because Michelle's at Stanford University studying communication. So once you put down the books, you're going to have even more time to practice. I have to be great. You said last week you're looking forward to entering the real world. Are you Are you not in it yet? Uh, it's kind of weird just because, I mean, I guess all my friends have transitioned to the jobs and everything. And, you know, when I'm at school, it doesn't feel like... It all just feel like a job, you know. It's it's, it's so much fun still, and you get to go to Singapore and everywhere. Um, so I feel like once I graduate, it's kind of like that transition between you know, if you're not a, a kid anymore, you gotta, you know, it, it, it's a profession. So I'm really excited. <laughs> um, no, I actually have uh, a lot of allergies. Um, <laughs> I'm allergic to everything in this world. <laughs> Um, I uh, I don't really digest food very well, and I have a lot of problems. So I just thought maybe if I cut out gluten, I can you know feel better. Because I heard that you know it, it causes inflammation and everything. Um, so it makes eating very difficult. I love bread, um, but it's been maybe week three, um, and I feel a big difference. Um, you know my joints don't feel sore as much. I digest food a lot better. Um, my hands feel less swollen, um, so I feel really good. It's easy in Asia because there's so much rice, so it works. I just keep doing what I love to do. Uh, I play golf a lot in, in most hours of the day, and the few hours I don't work with my golf game, I like to be in the gym. I mean, I've got gym junkie on me now. I picked up uh, biking, road biking over the winter, so that's kind of a new hobby, I would say, so I can kind of enjoy my hobby as same as I get a good workout. Um, I just love to be in good shape. Uh, as much as we travel, uh, it's nice to be in good shape so you recover quickly, you get over jet lags, and um, at least your body is not going to hold you back from uh, performing well. So uh, it's just uh, one of my passions here in life. I'm a sports freak, so it's kind of, I hate to sit still. I love to move around, so it's just a big part of it. Okay, we'll enjoy this week as we've enjoyed the other weeks before, and then we'll sit down. And as was mentioned, you know, these are big business decisions, are big investments for the group. And rather than rushing a decision or perhaps playing it out in the media, we'll sit down at the appropriate time and, and, and make a, a, a formalized decision. But it's certainly been a hugely successful event to date.